we've actually been going for five years. We, we set up in um, June 2009 um, and we reopened in December 2012, so we've not yet been actually open two years, but we've been going for five years. And in that time, we've had a lot of hurdles um, to get over. I think the, the first thing was um, persuading the council that um, we were a credible organisation to, to run the theatre. Um, we had some internal hurdles, we had uh, quite a few fallouts in the, in the group that were trying to make it happen, so that was a bit of an issue. Um, we had to get money, uh, we had to get enough money to, uh, to open. Um, and um, the building itself is, is an old building. Uh, I mean, just, just a few weeks ago, one of the hundred year old pipes burst. And you know we had a freezing theatre, we had uh, naked actors on stage in the freezing cold and stuff. So there's there's all sorts of little bits and pieces, um, but I I suppose the biggest thing is just still getting enough money together um, to make it work and getting audiences in, and, and, and more or less both of these have, have now become. So the Agate Partnerships um, a social enterprise um, and a charity and it's essentially owned by the community. So anybody that's 16 or over that's interested in uh, being a member of the organisation um, can apply to join. Um, and every year uh, the members appoint um, directors. Um, in addition, uh, University of the West of Scotland is a sort of organisational member and so South Ayrshire Council and so both of them can um, nominate trustees. So um, there's a board of trustees elected by the members and then appointed by these two organisational members and they can bring in other specialists when, when they want. So that's what the Air Gating Partnership is in terms of people um, as an organisation, say a social enterprise and uh, a charity. Um, and its purpose, which is, is maybe just important, is, is not just to run the gaiety. It's about um, performing arts and a range of associated things across South Asia. Future plans are, uh, well, quite ambitious. Um, as far as the theatre is concerned, um, we've recently pulled together um, most of the capital funding we need from Creative Scotland, Social Investment Scotland, South Asia Council and uh, the Robertson Trust plus local donations, um, to do a major investment in the theatre. Um, so by about mid-2016, um, we should have the theatre in a much better state. Um, no hundred-year-old pipes about to break.